hey, hey, I am back. So let's go ahead and continue. In the previous video, actually first let me get the hell out of here. In the previous video, I basically explained what I'll be doing for the next uh, day or so in terms of power leveling. Well, here it is, the next day. <laughs> and I want to show you my results, so let's do this thing. I feel like, you know, in any of those reality shows where drum roll and we unveil whatever's, you know, they're doing. But anyways, here it is. My mages character sheet. As you can see, I have a hundred and almost everything. I cannot get a hundred and climbing until later in the game. And strength and intelligence are very div uh, slow um, levelers. I mean, it takes, it takes a really long time to level them up. But other than that, everything is pretty much done here. And we'll get strength and intelligence later on. It's not a big deal. And climbing later on. All right. Four hour spells. Open spell is at 62. Detect is at 100. Triggers at 100. Zap is at 100. Calm is at 64. Flame dart at 100 and fetch is at 100. That's uh, that's that. All right. Now there is here's my inventory. Basically, I have like silver, a good amount of silver actually from going back and forth to the goblin um, training site and looting them. I still have three food rations, and I'll explain why in a minute. I got my um. Standard equipment. I have nine healing potions, and I'll explain that in a minute as well. I have some vigor potion, my dispel potion, and I have the flowers. I have here new item, Cheetar Claws. I'll explain that in just a second, and then there's Troll Beard. I'll explain that in a second as well. Okay, first things first. What the hell is going on with my rations? Well, I. This is the original rations. I ate one. And I gave one to that Abdullah Du guy at the inn for points. Other than that, all the sustenance you need is in Irana's garden over there. You can eat the fruit every day. So food is out of the, out of the way. Uh, okay. Healing potions. What the hell do I have healing potions? I hope in the previous videos I've mentioned that you never should buy healing potions. But... Here's the reason why. It's because of troll beards. At night, you can fight trolls. They're the, the, the towering blue enemy with a, um, with a hammer on their shoulder. Basically, kill them, loot them, and you get the beard and a good amount of silver. Between Anywhere between, I don't know, 25, 30 pieces of silver to 50 pieces of silver. Once you get a troll beard, you can take them to the healer and give them, uh, give give the uh, the beer to the healer, and she'll n instead give you two free. That's right, you heard me. Two free healing potions. This is a huge, like like really huge. All right. So now I cover the healing potions and the troll beard. What about this cheetah claws? Well, also at night and sometimes during the day, you will get attacked by those. Santar-like creatures, except their body is that of a, 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 a lion or a panther or whatever. And, no, since they're cheetahs, they'll be body of a che cheetah, probably. Yeah. Anyways, it doesn't matter. You loot them, and you get these babies. And you can give them to the healer, and she'll give you, I believe, silver um, in exchange. And, and they're good items to keep in your inventory for later, for when you're finished with the game and you want to accumulate as much money in terms of silver pieces as you can, you can start selling them. It's not uncommon to fight a ton of Cheetar early and get like 50 claws or something for endgame. Okay, now that I've finished that, I want to give you a brief and in my opinion best legitimate way to power level. Okay, uh, first things first, Irana's Garden is the best place to sleep. I've mentioned that before, but I'm not sure if I mentioned the reason why. The reason being is you can sleep 
when the night is young, or you can sleep just before dawn, uh, the time set just before dawn, and you will still, still get everything refreshed in terms of health, stamina, and magic points. If you were to sleep somewhere else, say at the inn, and you, you go to sleep in the middle of the night, and you have zero in magic potion, chances are you probably only will refill half of them. That's because Uranus Garden is enchanted, and every time you sleep there, you will be fully restored. So, the best place to sleep is there. That's why I wait for the time to say, right just uh, before dawn, or something like that. Anyways, you go in there and you sleep, you wake up when it's dawn. First things first, eat a piece of fruit. Right now, I've already done it, but uh, you know, your hunger is satisfied. This is so that you don't need to use up your rations. Then, select, uh, uh, pick the flowers. And I already have them here in my inventory. Alright. Once you're finished, we'll get the heck out of here. See if there's any, any enemy here. Nope. And let's go ahead and head back. So here it is. You've, already, you've taken care of your stats. They're all refreshed in terms of health, stamina, and magic. You've taken care of your hunger, and you have picked the flowers for some money. Like free money, right? And this, this should be done every day. I mean, in, in, in general, actually. But definitely when you're ready to um, start power leveling. Okay, here, you want to go down to the castle. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, once you're in, we're going to go ahead and go to the right and start working. Now, this is a great way to raise health, I mean, excuse me, raise strength and vitality and maybe agility um, by a couple of points. And you also get five silver, which is nice. So go ahead and do this. Alrighty. So in this case, I didn't. Uh, my strength didn't go up, but it will go up if, if it's um, at a, a at a lower point. But anyways, we have the the dude doing his freaking thing here. Thank you. Not interested. I don't think we can work again. I think you can only do it once. One of the yeah, some other time. So oh man, this dude's gonna do this. That's that's why I don't like coming here because the, the 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 stupid weapon master is gonna show off. All right, so you got some five silver from the stable and the possibility to raise um, strength and vitality, and then we're gonna sell the flowers. I want to see. I think we get five silver per uh, five flowers. Let's take a look. Yep. So you can get 10 silver for the flowers. So you have 15 free silver. That's nice. That's uh, 3 fourths of a, a stamina potion. Okay. You can go ahead and buy whatever the heck you need to buy. And then we're going to get the heck out of here. And here we are. First two things can be... Uh, wait. I mean, come here. It makes more sense. Uh, climbing and throwing can be leveled up here. Climbing can go up to 81 and throwing can go up to 100. In terms of throwing, go ahead and pick up all the uh, pick up the rocks here and just throw them. Put a weighty object over your enter when you're throwing them. Um, battery, uh, I don't know, maybe a remote control if it has um, a good proportion, uh, proportions or whatever and then You'll just throw, pick up like about 500,000 rocks, and you're, you're good to go. In terms of tree, just put your little cursor with the hand icon, and once again, put something um, heavy on, to, on the enter key, and he'll climb up and down. 
and then you will level up climbing to 81. After that, it's whatever you want to do is up to you. I mean, most of the skills were leveled up by casting either casting spells or going to the goblin training uh, arena. And uh, remember, the goblin arena the goblin arena is to the left, all the way to the left uh, of this um, park or garden, and that's that. Now, guiding spells, a lot of these. Uh, not a lot, but let me show you the spells here. Detect magic, trigger, zap, and fetch do not have animations. That is, if you click on them, there's get a little message saying no magic was detected or there's no object to interact or pick up with. Open does have a um, a little animation which is annoying because it takes it slower to, to level it up. Calm also does have uh, an animation uh, in some situations. In others, it does not. For example, in here, unless there's a monster, I guess in the woods it doesn't need. And also in Irana's garden, since the place is already calmed, there's no need uh, to um, for the animation to take an effect. Flame dart, you'll have a little crosshair. And uh, that. And we're still missing one spell, but we'll get that later. So anyways, that's how you practice spells. Okay, so I pretty much rambled long enough. I believe it is time to go and fight the kobold. So I need to pull up my little... um. um my little checklist over here. <laughs> it was not prepared for that. Alright, so let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to. Yeah, we're going to get. do all of that. We're gonna um, go in and kill the. Uh, fight the. kobold and then rescue certain someone which is well I, I I would say nice or a good experience in in point of fact it isn't actually and you'll see why okay so let's do this thing okay here we are first it's a good idea to save here might as well alright we're gonna go to the right Okay, so you can actually do calm, and you can that, and you can uh, this ogre, you can uh, kind of stop him from. Uh, oh, <laughs> the ogre have recovered from your spell, but I'm gonna fight him. Like, why not, right? I mean, I have enough level, uh, uh high attributes. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Okay, in case you were wondering, that's two, that was three flame darts. That's how easy it's ridiculously easy. Once you take the painstaking time to level up the flame dart spell, it is insanely easy to uh, un un nuke enemies. All right, let's go ahead and all right now then. Whoopsie, we have a lock. Well, that's okay, because we have a spell. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh, there it is. Well, it's taking forever. Come on, what's going on? We got one gold and 43 silver. Awesome. Ah, uh, darn it. So there'd be more. Okay, here we go.
Alright. I believe the thing to do, we need to calm this bear down, basically. I'm not sure if we can use the calm spell or what, but first things first, uh, before we experiment, go ahead and save your game. So as you approach him, he'll, he'll, he'll maul you by the way, so let's go ahead and just click calm. <laughs> okay, so that didn't do... Uh, actually, you know what? Let me, let me calm. I'll use calm here. And see if I get it when I am enter here. Hmm. No. Yeah, so... I think the best way to calm, or the, the way to calm them is not through spells, but in fact through um, food. So let's go ahead and give him some food. There it is. So the bear is happy. We're happy. We're doing this. All right. So the kobold over there. All right. First things first. Before you fight him, save. Now this fight is going to be without a little um, fight menu. You just—it's a free fight. So basically, we're just gonna torch him. There's really no um. Yeah, I'm just gonna torch him. Here we go. He's going to teleport left and right, and he's done. Nice, huh? With a leveled up. I know, I know, it's very anticlimactic. With a leveled up flame dart, it's, it's, it's history, so... Aw, oh, darn it, you see fetch is really useless. It's fun to use, but... Alright, you get this key. Now you just gotta bump around here until you... stumble upon the chest. I think, unless I already gotten it. I mean... Oh, there it is. Uh, it's too quick for me to read the message, damn it. Um, now then, here's what happens when you go over there. Oh, right, I think fighters will have to click their sword on it. You can also use a... Um... <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, it, it, uh, it damages you. Be careful doing it this way. If you're a fighter, you have to do it this way. It, uh, if you're a thief, you will obviously pick lock. If you're a mage, well, we, um, we have this. So let's do detect magic. Oh, oh by the way, yes, I could have used uh, uh, detect magic as well. I forgot. And let's go ahead and do open. Alright. You're now 10 gold and 60 silver pieces richer. Very good. We've already taken the treasure. Alright, let's save our game. And I want to try something else. Let's go ahead and restore the previous. Let's see if we can use trigger here. Yeah, you see? Wait, I shouldn't have gotten damage from the blast. What? Okay, let me restore. This is what Trigger does. It sets off magical traps and stuff, so let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, okay, you have to be you have to be far enough. So you still get the same amount of money, however way you chose to um resolve the issue. But anyways. Here are the kobold mushrooms. I don't usually pick them up because I don't think you need to pick them up. They're, I think they're poisonous, so you don't want to. Um, I think you can, you can actually sell them to the healer, but um, I've already done that. So, okay, we are rocking. Now then, let's go ahead and come back here. So this dude's gonna probably attack us. So let's go ahead and use calm. All right, here we go. Now then, we've got this Dispel Potion, right? Let's do this. Mm. 
or not. Let's try this again. Alright, let's back out and try and um do this thing. Unless I'm doing it wrong, look at it. Retard. Oh, what happened to my spell potion? No, wait, nope, we don't use a Dispel Potion here. What the hell am I doing? I'm a retard. So, no, we calm him down and then unlock this. There you go. Duh. <laughs> I'm a moron, sorry. Yep, the arrogance of the baronet astonish astonishes you. Perchance the kobold magic user had a reason for changing him into a bear. Yeah, okay, basically he's, he's, an, he's an asshole, the dude. Okay, there you have it. There you have it. We finished with that uh, kobold dude, and we have uh, freed the baronet re um, arrogant douchebag, I guess, yeah, and look at that, our intelligence went up because we were solving puzzles and other stuff, so we're good on intelligence front. Now, we're going to get some reward, I believe, for freeing him, maybe not, but uh doesn't matter. So, what we're going to do, we've got to go back to the castle. First things first, though, let's check the time here, sunset approaches, ooh. Actually, it's probably a good idea to rest. And let's see if we can pick a fight with some uh, monster here. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay, so basically this is the toughest monster there is. Uh, that's the, the, the Saurus Rex or whatever. It looks like more like a giant rat, but hey, whatever. Anyways, um, doesn't really, doesn't, didn't do much. <laughs> didn't do anything. Didn't give me any points. Dang it. But let's just rest, and I want to, I want to fight some trolls and cheetahs. One of the problems of oh yeah I see one of the problems of having your experience at like six thousand three hundred is like I uh, I think I mentioned this before most monsters just disappear and you're replaced with the harder um, T Rex type lizard thingy monsters whatever and uh, yeah. Did not think that one through. <laughs> and then... And you just waste waste your energy on them and they don't give you any loot. So I'm gonna try and see if I can... Nope, see? It's so annoying. I wanna fight a Cheetar and I wanna fight a Troll. Oh, there's a Cheetar, there we go. Alright, that's it. Of course I could have used spells, but pretty, it was much cooler to just uh, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and rest. Not yet dawn. That's what I mean. It's not, not yet dawn. And that's a good, good time to uh, start resting. But I saved my game, and I want to fight a troll. There's a troll. Here we go. Let's do this.
So that's that. You loot the troll beard and get some cash, which is nice. All right, so let's go ahead and it's not yet done. So what I'm gonna do is just practice some more spells, and this is the way to do them, honestly. I'm gonna cast calm, and you just—it's so annoying. I wish the spells would like be here, like the items can you, so you can like cycle through them but you can so you have to click every freaking time really hurts your hand after after a couple of minutes really I right, I don't have any more so that sleep all night and check it out I'm at 95 health, full stamina, and 98 magic points. And if I need to eat something, I will. I will. If not, then uh, I won't. <laughs> All right. And look at that. I'm actually having a ton of silver pieces, a ton. And I don't like this because, uh, well, I'm not gonna get into the whole gold transfer thing. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I do probably, or I, I, I might buy the chain mail, or I might not. I don't think it restricts a wizard, uh, excuse me, a, ma um, a mage in terms of spells. I'm not sure. I'll have to look in, look into that, but. All right, let's come, come on over here, save our game. And let's do this uh, next part. Let's go ahead and do some work, though. Unless we, unless he won't let us. Alright, nice. So that that um, got my strength up a little bit. Very good. Let's see if I see if there's uh if he mentions. Okay, here we go. Oh, doesn't mention anything. Whatever. Oh, please don't let them. Ah, oh, damn it, he's here. All right, let's just let's just kind of casually get the hell out of here.
Yeah. Arrogant, right? <laughs> I would prefer not to talk about that. I bet you would. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and talk. Here it is. Comes a hero from the east, free the man fr uh, from in the beast, bring the child from out the band, drive the cursor from the land. And that's uh, the prophecy. So we're, a, you know, we're a hero. Well, not much of a hero in the beginning, but we kind of are now. Came from the east. Ah, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do that again. Uh, yep. So we freed the man from the uh, from in the beast. That was the um, baronet dude. And then bring a child from out in the band, and uh, uh, the child being I'm um, guessing Elsa, and drive the cursor from the land. And we all know the cursor is Bob Yaga. So we still have quite a quite a ways to go. All right. Okay, so that covers everything. <laughs> you rehearsed your award acceptance speech. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Oh, FYI, before you go here, it's probably a good idea to use up your magic uh, and, and, and uh, cast a bunch of spells simply because you're going to sleep uh, overnight here.
Yeah, so it was, it was it was definitely a good idea. I would have restored the game, but I don't want to go through all that dialogue, so I, I I didn't. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some more work and see if we can get uh, some um, strength up. Alright. I believe uh, our reward is like 50 gold, I think. Maybe not. I'll have to. I'll, I'll have to check. No, it'll take a while. Uh, let's take a look at our money. Yeah, so I think we had 11, and now we have 61. So. Good amount of gold. Thing is, I really want to buy a leather jerkin, but I can't. What I can do is spend all this gold, uh, silver on undead ungent, ungent. I don't know whatever, how the hell you pronounce it. Uh, the undead potions. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I haven't really timed this, so I don't know how long it's been. But first things first, let's go ahead and. Buy some stuff here. Da, 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 da. Catchy music, I like it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the undead stuff. You can bring the undead um, potions with you into the next game. So it's a, a good way to prepare and kind of carry your money over there, I suppose. So that's, what, four? And... I don't think you can... No, we can't use Vigor, but I can get a couple of daggers, and I'm gonna do that. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and back out here. Uh, daggers also transfer, so... Something to think about. Alright, so we have, I think they're 20 silver pieces each, yeah. Alright, right on. Let's go ahead and sell the leather armor and get the chain armor. The chain armor does transfer over, and I personally think it's a good idea because I don't think the armor here will impede your spell casting. So let's do this thing. All right. So it's definitely uh. Definitely heavier. And here we go. We used gold instead of silver, which is good. Now, next thing to do, actually, is to probably. Nope, nope, never mind. I'm probably just gonna dump these troll beards, or. You know what? No, I'll get healing potions. Uh, healing potions and stamina potions, I don't think they transfer because you do not, um, do not, uh, the, the second game does not have potions, they have pills, like, uh, healing pills and stuff, so, it's kind of a shame. Uh, first things first, though, let's go ahead and sell the flowers, and I'll get some potions. You can also sell her uh, flasks back as well. Alright. So check it out. I have nine healing potions, and I have uh, nine troll beards. So let's go ahead and give her uh, all these um, beards.
Oh, by the way, you get some points in giving her the troll beards. So I'm, I'm just gonna skip. Twenty-seven healing potions. Ah, uh, yeah, that's 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 a lot. All right, basically, there's we can't really sell them back. I'm, I don't think. Let's, let's see if we can. It doesn't work. Dang it. Uh, you can just chug a lot of them, uh, and then just sell her the bottles later on. That probably uh is a good idea. Now then. You can actually use the gold to buy... no wait. More of this undead stuff, but I'm just gonna wait. Okay, what is next? Well, I suppose what I'm gonna be doing is... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can... Oh yeah, we can drink it. Nice. Okay, that's good. All right, I suppose the next step would be to uh, go ahead and do uh, handle the Baba Yaga, and then um, talk to Erasmus and get the last spell and stuff. In the meantime, what I'm going to be doing is just casting a bunch of calm spells and trying to level that up. And open, no, no, open takes too long. Okay, well, thanks so much to uh, anyone who watched this, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Nick, and I'm signing out. See ya!